Hello everyone. Welcome to this exclusive interview session presented by Ace Engineering Academy. Today, we have with us a shining star, Mr. Jayanth Malapati, who secured an incredible All India Rank 65 in GATE CSC 2025. We are here to explore his journey, strategies, struggles, and insights that will be immensely useful for GATE 2026 aspirants. Welcome Mr. Jain Malapati and congratulations on your outstanding achievements. Hi Thank Jain you, Malapati. Yes sir. Hi sir. Hi. So congratulations to you Jain. Thank you very much sir. Yeah. So can you tell us a bit about your academic background where you have completed BTEC? Yes sir. Actually, I completed my B.Tech uh, in a college called Gayatri Vidya Parishad College of Engineering uh, in uh, Vishakhapatnam. So, in a field of computer science and engineering, uh, and got an average uh, CGP of 8.91. Very nice. Uh, so, after completion of my B.Tech, uh, so I went to offline coaching, as Engineering Academy. Okay, very good. You are taking offline coaching, that is classroom coaching, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Jayant, what inspired you to prepare for GATE CSC first? Uh, I actually, uh, I, I always have a dream of uh, pursuing my higher education in premier colleges, premier IIT Indian colleges. Well so done. that was my dream. Uh, so that was the motivation behind it. So finally, you achieved that goal, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. Then why did you choose Ace Engineering Academy for your gate preparation? Uh, yes. Uh, so after completion of my B.Tech, uh, while I was searching, uh, uh, so few of my relatives told that uh, uh, and some of my friends uh, were joined Ace and uh, secured uh, some good ranks. So... Uh, I was thoroughly investigating uh, Ace Engineering Academy. All of them were saying it was a very good uh, faculty and uh, very good engineering uh, teaching. So I joined like that. Very nice. Means uh, you got information, you collected information from your friends and you are yes. taking decision, right? Yes, from friends, from relatives and Quora, uh, I such like everything. So, yeah. Excellent. Uh, Jain, uh, actually, I would like to ask you one question. Actually, you joined in offline coaching. The coaching will start morning 7 a.m. It will continue up to 1.30 p.m., right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So then how did you plan your daily routine? Like when did you wake up in the morning session and how did you plan daily routine and subject prioritization and how did you manage the time? Yes. So actually, I wake at 6 a.m. Okay. Uh, so some from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m., the classes. Correct. So from there on, uh, I will take uh, two hours rest, sir. Okay. So after that, three to three to five, I will study, and uh, six to ten, I will study. So apart from classes, uh, I'll use it to study five to six hours, five to six, nice. five to seven hours. Yes, sir. It means uh, almost uh, 13 hours preparation, including coaching time, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because yes, coaching sir. duration approximately five and a half hours to six hours. And in addition to that, you have taken almost uh, another seven hours preparation, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, listeners, please observe that uh, minimum 12 to 13 hours preparation is required to get admission IIT. That's what Jayanth is also saying. Yes, so, very good, Jayanth. So, yes, thanks for providing that information. Yes. Sir. And, uh, like, how did you approach? Uh, very tough subjects like algorithms, computer networks, and yes. TOC. Okay, uh -huh. how did you approach these subjects? For example, if you start preparation for algorithm subject, uh, what way you started preparation? Like first li uh, listening class notes followed yeah. by PYQ. Like what order you maintained? So first, actually, uh, uh, first uh, you don't skip any classes. Uh, that should be the more important thing. Very good. Uh, write uh, each and every point uh, all by yourself. So start for, by topic by topic. So first, uh, uh, let's take asymptotic notations. After completing uh, concept, do yes. PYQs. Do PYQs. 
Okay, means after completion of every topic, we need to do PYQs, right? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, like sir. an asymptotic notation. So immediately, you have to solve PYQ questions, correct? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, Very sir. good. Okay, then. After uh, you are comfortable with that topic, go to next topic. Excellent. Yeah, after uh, like this, complete each and every topic. After completing uh, this, uh, 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 like... Uh, uh, that topic has some notation, then go for next topic, right? Yeah, yeah. After completing total algorithms, uh, write some mock tests on that subject. Very nice. Yes. So, listeners, what he's saying, so first listen class and don't miss any classes. Yes. Suppose if SAR is teaching asymptotic notations, first read class notes number of times. After that, next step is you have to solve all PYQ questions and evaluate by yourself. Are you able to really answer gate questions or not? This is called self-evaluation purpose. Yes. Sir. Right? So like that, you have to prepare topic-wise, not subject-wise. Is it correct, Jayant? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So it means as many topics as you cover, those many marks will be added in your preparation. That's what, that is your strategy, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Very nice. Excellent. And uh, you have written many mock tests, right? Like how important were mock tests in your preparation? And how did you analyze and learn from your mistakes because after writing mock test, definitely sometimes you may uh, get less marks. Then yes. how did you learn from those mistakes? Uh, so actually, uh, mock tests were very important because uh, after writing, you will get to know about time management, uh, yes. which subject uh, should be given, how much time. You will get to know uh, the time management after writing mock tests. So mock tests are also very important, but you need to start mock tests, uh, full length mock tests uh, after completion of every subject. After completing, so many people uh, do these mistakes like uh, before completing uh, all subjects, they directly go to full length mock tests and they'll really? get disappointed and demotivated. Yes. So. Uh, you need to study every subject. You need to have a basic fundamentals of every subject. After that, go to full length mock test and write and uh, uh, evaluate yourself. Uh, so, uh, like, you will also know uh, how much time you are spending on that. Uh, so, you will get to know about time management. Uh, Correct. Yes, sir. So very nice, Jayant. Actually, as you mentioned, sometimes you may get demotivated if you score low marks, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then how did you get stay motivated during that time? Like, uh, have you read any books, special books for motivating by yourself? Like, what is your strategy in that? Actually, uh, uh, we often get demotivated because of getting low marks. Uh, so, there's nothing uh, like you need to practice uh, so yes. if it feels a little difficult, uh, pick a, pick a easy, uh, easy, easy, easy level or moderate level test papers that okay. gives you motivation or do something, uh, which is easier, easier subject. When you are in demotivation state, do subjects which are easier. Very nice. This is very good, important strategy friends. Okay. Yes. Sometimes when you're solving difficult questions, if you're unable to get correct answer, you may get demotivated. In such cases, start with easy subject. Yes. Sir. That's what Jayanth is saying. That is very good strategy. Yes. Nice Jayanth. Very nice. Yes. And uh, see, like the final month, usually we'll get uh, many mails from the students because in the month of November or December, okay, we usually get so many mails from the students or how did you do the preparation because we have only one month time is there. Can you provide any uh, strategy like that? They usually ask the questions. What is your strategy in the final month? So actually my final month was fully uh, dedicated to revision. Revision. Yes, sir. So I, us I usually uh, spend time uh, for writing mock tests okay. and uh, revising class notes every day, revising class notes and doing PYQs. Sir. So uh, during your uh, at the end of the month, you need to do PYQs uh, uh, like two to three times every Very subject, nice. all PYQs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because uh, if you study a new thing in last month, uh, you will get tensed. Uh, so, because, uh, so 
don't study new things uh, at the end of the month just do revision what you learn just do revision uh, on those subjects only yeah uh, yeah i have one more question jain actually doing revision is nothing but for example we have approximately 10 subjects in csc right correct yes sir. yes sir. so in algorithm itself we provided almost 280 pages notes yes sir. yes sir so, so data structures also we have um, uh, almost 180 pages notes like every subject is having approximately on an average 150 pages right yes sir so Then how did you do the revision yes so first thing is you need to write short notes that is called micro notes right yes sir yes okay. sir you need to write it uh, you need to keep that book and second thing is uh, so even if uh, the book is 150 pages it doesn't matter it doesn't matter because you actually studied it fewer times uh, in last uh, last months like uh, in the month of may june july every month you will be studying at least once so you will be you will get easily accustomed to that book so even if it's 150 pages book uh, you might complete revision in 1 uh, hour or 2 hours at the end of december month so uh, you need to uh, do revision uh, a, a book for at least 10 uh, times so after doing 10 times uh, uh, at, at the 11th time it will take very less time uh, for uh, doing that uh, revision of that book yeah very good strategy listeners what he is saying that don't write micro notes immediately after reading first time of your class notes he is saying that suppose if you read first time if it takes 10 hours if you read same subject second time it will take only 5 hours yes sir. like that if you read third time it will take approximately 3 hours like that if yes, you do 10 times consecutive preparation yes sir. then at 10th time it will take approximately half an hour not more than that because yes, you already read many 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 times right Yes, at sir. Tenth time, you have to create micro notes. Using these micro notes, you are able to recall complete notes. That's what he is saying. Is it correct, yes. Jay? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Yes. yes sir. Even all of them subject is having two hundred pages notes. Yes, sir. But you have to keep these two hundred pages in hardly two pages. Yes, sir. Complete notes are might be expend so many pages, but yes. everything you have to keep in only three pages, like DBMS, like yes, computer sir. organization. Yes, sir. So every teacher is excellent teacher in Sri Lanka Academy, and they provide very quality notes. Yes, sir. right. Like yes, discrete sir. mathematics. Yes, right? sir. So everything you have to prepare micro notes. That micro notes is possible only after rigorous revision. Correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Yes. Very nice. And uh, Jain, on exam day, on exam day, like yes, how did you manage the stress? Because that is very important. The three hours will decide your rank. Correct? Yes, sir. How did you manage the stress on exam day? Uh, so. i i'll need to be honest uh, everyone will have stress on that day sir uh, even the gate top ranker first ranker so all of them will have stress so uh, you will uh, so to avoid that stress uh, so you basically you need to plan uh, you you should be pre planned about that 3 hours what you need to do that 3 hours you need to be pre planned before the exam only so that the pre plan structure will help you to reduce the stress so in my case uh, i actually planned how to spend my time on the 3 hours so i i planned that i need to do very simple questions first i need to skip the tough questions so like uh, i know uh, i wrote some key points some rules and regulations uh, how to spend that time that 3 hours so uh, so by the by making those rules uh, just uh, uh, write some mock tests some mock tests based on those rules so you will get easily accustomed and you will get less tensed in that main exam very so, nice yes so jayanti is saying that he glanced that paper two times by solving first simple questions and then followed by tough questions that's yes, what you think right jayanti yes sir yes sir so very so, nice okay uh, so from that uh, you, you will get very less less time wastage so by solving uh, easier questions uh, within a very less time you will get confidence that uh, see i have solved this many questions uh, within this less time so like that you need to uh, do some rules and you need to keep some rules and regulations 
so like how to manage these three hours uh, so by framing that you will get less tense in the exam you need to be planned very like nice how to spend those three hours very good and what would you like suggest for gate 2026 aspirants okay any tips or any suggestions would you like to provide to them yes sir so actually uh, uh, there were uh, some points that i need to share so firstly don't skip any classes classes are very important uh, and second thing was uh, you need to write your own notes don't take toppers notes so just write your own notes on in your own way and uh, third thing was uh, you have we have uh, get communities in very uh, social networks like in telegram in whatsapp we have various get communities just uh, go in that uh, community uh, and help each other uh, and stay tuned uh, so just you need to follow those get communities in those telegram groups and be active what's going on in that and study together with friends and help other help others because helping others will also uh, make your knowledge uh, improvement uh, uh, be consistent that this is the most important thing uh, being consistent is the most important thing uh, yes sir that's yeah. it and uh, change the one more point i want to uh, introduce you like is only as in academy classroom notes and pyqs are sufficient to get good rank in gate csc or is do you want to follow any social media channels because now it is what happen many students suppose we struggle a lot for teaching very quality content but yes. students are collecting information from various sources at the end they are unable to uh, understand what did they study in the classroom also because yes. it's giving a lot of confusion about the social media content and classroom content you say yes. honestly is uh, as in academy material and class notes concepts is enough or anything else do they need to follow outside of the social media oh no so it's totally enough as engineering material and pyqs like uh, you need to do pyqs like three times two to three times and revise uh, as engineering notebooks and materials and as test series that would be more than enough to get a, get, a good gate score rank yeah yes. so what jain is saying instead of collecting resources from multiple places yes you take this resource and read multiple times so that yes. you can easily understand where you are doing mistakes yes sir. but even i can suggest you as an experienced faculty friends yes so don't collect more information from the more places okay it is definitely uh, will create like disturbance in your preparation yes so rely on uh, like as in your academy material and class notes and do yes. the preparation properly and if you have any doubts contact with the faculty definitely we are here to support you guys friends okay yes and thank you so much for your time and yes. uh, yes. Uh, giving valuable insights for gate 2026 aspirants and we wish you very good luck for your bright future jayanth thank, thank you so much